This is the AJCC Staging Moments. This is for TNM Staging, 7th Edition, and for Collaborative Stage. This is Breast Case Number 2, and I'm Donna Gross. This is a presentation of a new case, a newly diagnosed breast cancer patient who's being presented at Cancer Conference for treatment recommendations and clinical staging. This is a 62-year-old woman who noticed a non-tender mass in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast. Family history is breast cancer in a maternal aunt at age 70. The physical examination reveals a firm, mobile, 4-centimeter mass in the upper outer quadrant with no overlying skin changes and no palpable adenopathy. For the imaging results, the mammogram shows a 3.9 centimeter density in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast. The right breast is negative. The ultrasound showed a 3.8 centimeter hypoechoic area in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast, and the left axillary nodes were negative, and the right breast was negative. The diagnostic procedure is an ultrasound guided core needle biopsy of the upper outer quadrant of the left breast. The pathology report was infiltrating duct carcinoma, scarf bloom Richardson grade 3, estrogen receptor positive, progesterone receptor positive, and HER2 negative by IHC. Clinical staging uses information from the physical exam, imaging, and diagnostic biopsy. The purpose is to select the appropriate treatment and estimate the prognosis. A synopsis of the case. The patient has a 3.9 centimeter mass infiltrating duct CA, the axilla is negative on exam and imaging. What is the clinical stage? The T, the N, the M, and the stage group. The correct answer is T2, N0, M0, stage group 2A. Based on stage, the treatment is selected and NCCN treatment guidelines should be reviewed. The rationale for the staging choice is T2 for a 3.9 centimeter primary tumor, N0 because the nodes were clinically negative on physical exam and imaging, and M0 because there was nothing to suggest distant metastasis. If there was, appropriate tests would be performed before developing a treatment plan. The clinically significant prognostic factors applicable to this case are Paget's disease, no. Bloom Scarf Richardson grade 3, estrogen receptor positive, progesterone receptor positive, HER2 status is negative, and the method of node assessment is radiographic and physical examination. There are no prognostic factors required for staging. Here are the NCC guidelines. Now let's look at the surgery and findings. The patient declined the option of neoadjuvant systemic therapy. The procedure performed was a lumpectomy of the upper outer quadrant of the left breast with a sentinel lymph node biopsy. The operative findings were sentinel nodes were reported as negative on frozen section and additional stains will be performed. The pathology results. Infiltrating duct carcinoma. The size of the invasive cancer is 4.1 centimeters with dermal invasion. Bloom Scarf Richardson grade 3. Margins of resection were negative, the closest margin inferior at 4 millimeters, and the sentinel nodes were negative by H and E, and sentinel node 1, cytokeratin immunohistochemistry, shows a cluster of isolated tumor cells, ITCs, less than 0.1 millimeter in size. Pathologic staging uses information from the clinical staging supplemented or modified by information from surgery and the pathology report. The purpose is for additional precise data for estimating prognosis and calculating end results or survival data. Now the synopsis, we have a patient with a 4.1 centimeter infiltrating duct CA, one sentinel node with ITCs detected only on IHC. What is the pathologic stage? The T the N, the M, and the stage group. The correct answer is PT2, PN0 I positive, CM0, and stage group 2A. Based on the pathologic stage, there is more information to estimate prognosis and adjuvant treatment is selected. The rationale for the staging choices, PT2, 
for skin invasion is defined as a full thickness involvement, including the epidermis. Focal dermal involvement is not considered and would be a T4 if it was. PN0I+, Sentinel nodes had ITCs found only on IHC. The H&E stains were negative. The ITCs usually have no histologic evidence of malignant activity. The clinical M0, you should always use the clinical M with pathologic staging unless there is pathologic confirmation of distant metastasis. The clinically significant prognostic factors for this case, Paget's disease, no, Bloom scarf Richardson, grade 3, estrogen receptor positive, progesterone receptor positive, HER2 status negative by IHC. The method of node assessment is a sentinel node biopsy, and IHC of nodes was positive. There are no prognostic factors required for staging. This is an image from the AJCC Cancer Staging Atlas showing the pathologic N0I+, with its definition of cells that are greater than 0.2 millimeter, and their non-confluent or nearly confluent clusters of cells not exceeding 200 cells in a single histologic lymph node cross-section. The summary of correct answers, the clinical stage T2 N0 M0 stage group 2A, pathologic stage T2 N0 I+, clinical M0 stage group 2A. The staging classifications have a different purpose and therefore can be different. Do not go back and change the clinical staging based on pathologic staging information. It's always important to review site-specific information and rules. The clinical staging is based on information before treatment and is used to select treatment options. The pathologic staging is based on clinical data plus surgery and pathology report information and is used to evaluate end results or survival. Here is the information for coding the cancer registrar's collaborative stage. This includes the rationale for those code choices. Now this is how the AJCC staging is recorded in the Cancer Registry Abstract. For clinical staging, the tumor is T2, the node is N0, and the metastasis is M0 for a stage group of 2A. For pathologic staging, the tumor is T2, the nodes is N0I+, and the metastasis, again, should be recorded in the clinical line because it's a clinical M0, and it's a pathologic stage group 2A. Any questions can be submitted to the Cancer Forum. And this has been brought to you by the American Joint Committee on Cancer, TNM Staging, the Common Language of Cancer. The AJCC provides worldwide leadership in the development, promotion, and maintenance of evidence-based systems for the classification and management of cancer in collaboration with multidisciplinary organizations dedicated to cancer surveillance and to improving care. Thank you.